Meantime, 10 towing companies got the boot today from the city of Detroit. They're banned from working with the city because of their connections with the now infamous Gaspar Fiore, who was convicted in a corruption scandal. Let's go live to Detroit City Hall. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson tells us what's going on. Jennifer Ann. Well, at this point, uh, we know that these 10 companies were actually banned back in December. Today was when they had a hearing to appeal that decision. We have a group of 10 towing companies that are owned by people like the daughter and ex-wife of Gaspar Fiore who say they had nothing to do with any of the things that he has been convicted of. Meanwhile, the inspector general here in the city of Detroit says they've got plenty of evidence that say they do. I've been doing this my whole life. If you guys debar me or let this happen, it's going to affect the rest of my life. This is all I do. An emotional appeal from one towing company owner followed a standoff between the inspector general and attorneys representing all 10 disbarred towing companies. What has happened here is that there's a witch hunt that has originated with some attorneys in the city law department. I submit to this council that we are simply being disbarred because of being either a daughter of Gaspar Fiore a friend of Gaspar Fiore or an ex-wife of Gaspar Fiore, right? That's, that's the reason that we're here today. It's because we knew a man who, who committed a crime. Attorneys say the inspector general has no evidence to support wrongdoing and that these 10 companies are separate from Gaspar Fiore, but the inspector general fired back. Reasons for debarring the appellants were not unreasonable. They are justified. The inspector general says documents requested were missing and suspiciously incomplete. This is the record for four million dollar um, transaction. <coughs> I don't know. I'm not a transactional attorney, but a one and a half page document <coughs> of promissory note for four million dollars. And I'm sorry, but you can't find a contract that you signed. They all engaged in unethical conduct to go around the DPD tow policies. Yeah, that page and a half document that represented a four and a half million dollar transaction. That was a really big red flag. The inspector general told me in a big sign that there was something a lot more going on when she couldn't get more backup documents. Now, at this point, these companies, some of them are disbarred, meaning banned from working for the city of Detroit for 15 years, some of them 10 years, some of them seven. So this is a really long time. Now, if the appeal is granted, we uh, right now at this point, the city council members need to consider the two plus hours hours of arguments that they just heard to decide whether or not the appeal will be granted or that disbarment will stand. Reporting live here in Detroit, Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News. All right, Jennifer Ann, thank you. And tonight